Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a bunch of information to go over for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus. Leaks are about to happen this week. There's a lot going on. So if you're excited for today's video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at the new updates for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So, this was tweeted out by Anubis. Again, make sure to go give them a follow if you want to know all of the most recent information on, like, data mines of new games and stuff. Like, when Legends Arceus get leaked, all the, the shiny odds and everything like that will be on this Twitter account here. They don't usually post, like, leaks of, like, actual things in the game like new pokemon and stuff they just data mine things so yeah really really useful to follow for like shiny odds and everything like that but um yeah this was a tweet that they uh well a thread that they tweeted out saying we've reverse engineered the grand underground digging mini game for statues boxes and item spawn rates so boxes occur 50 percent of the time but the light stone bonus boosts this to a hundred percent most of the good items are gated by owning the national decks item rarity is different between versions um so obviously this is a video of them just showing like the different things you can find so obviously the fossils are there which are some of the better items you can, that you can find um but yeah i thought this was quite interesting that it's basically all um kind of gated uh, before owning the national deck so once you get the national decks all of these much better items are available um uh, to find in the grand underground and as well as that boxes occur 50 percent of the time but if you've got a light stone bonus which is basically all the diglets and stuff uh you will always 100 percent of the time find a uh box which is usually um the i can't remember what they're called like the pretty ones or the the glorious ones or the beautiful ones i can't remember what they're called something like that and then they go on to say statue rates are the same in every area and in both versions um so yeah no area is better for finding statues and also in both brilliant diamond and shining pearl the rates are the same Obtaining the national decks unlocks an extra 100 statues to find. I don't know how many statues are in the game. I thought there was quite a few. But yeah, once you obtain the national decks, there's another 100 statues. And then all the areas have the same drop rates. But some corridors may have more potential dig sites. So yeah, same kind of drop rates everywhere basically. But uh, of course, some corridors you might just find more digging spots. And the full details for the Grand Underground item, box, and statue mechanics are in this spreadsheet um for you per usual so uh yeah so you can obviously just go to that and it will bring up the the whole spreadsheet and stuff in 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 regards to the underground um so yeah that was a nice little update again big shout out to anubis for finding all of that out a little bit more information about the grand underground um so yeah there is also a big update that hopefully will be coming soon for brilliant diamond shining pearl in regards to wonder trade and the gts and everything like that because that is all available now if you glitch to it it's all working um but obviously it's just not available to go to without glitches right now um so yeah we'll obviously break that down as soon as that becomes a thing i might even talk about that in tomorrow's video as well um because there is like i say a little bit more information about that and it's all accessible it's just you have to glitch to it um but anyway that's the first thing we wanted to go over this is the next piece of news that i wanted to take a look at um so this was posted on the japanese website for pokemon Le legends arceus it was posted by Dark Prince Reborn on the r slash PokeLeaks Reddit, and they said Noble Pokemon areas revealed on the Japanese website can speculate the nobles from leaks. Comments for translation. Um, so these are all the different nobles that are in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then we obviously have people replying. Could be worth diving into the source code of this page to see what those five icons are labeled as. Uh, we also have Poke Starmie who actually um, translated it all as well, which we're going to go into in a second. So again, another big shout out to her. Uh, so does this mean there's only five nobles or am I looking at this wrong? Yeah, I think only five uh, that are battleable and five that are rideable being Braviary, Weird Deer, Basque Legion, probably the Ursaring evolution and the Sneasel evolution and something else, maybe Arcanine. I saw someone bring up Quillfish's evolution being dive, but I'm not sure how likely that is. The noble Pokemon seem to be based on the Sinnoh HMs and terrain mechanics of the original Diamond and Pearl games. Uh, diving is not one of them. Why, uh, one might be the Sneasel New Evolution, probably the Rock Climbing one. That six rival Pokemon you posted. Um, and then the five exploration areas are in order clockwise. So meadows, grassland, forest, waterfall, rapids, ruins, rocky area. This leads me to believe that each one will have a noble as Cleavor is already confirmed for the forest. Update, clicking each icon shows a type along with some text. 
and guessing the Pokemon based off that hint shows you the Pokemon if you are right. So far, I've unlocked Cleavor, but that's it. Try it for yourself, and then that's obviously the website you can go to if you really, really want to. But anyway, this is the actual um, like translations and everything by Pokestarmy. She tweeted out saying, The tweet is basically saying, Since Cleavor is the king, noble, of the forest area, will there be queens and kings in other areas? The tweet specifically mentions how Lilligan could be the queen of the field area. So, of course, Lilligan is a very, very heavily rumored Pokemon uh, well, that is getting a new Hisuian form and is most likely going to be the new lady Pokemon uh, that was posted on the Pokemon website. Um, and, and this is all kind of just giving it more of a reason to actually be a thing so this is the whole translation so it says mysterious record clue uh, and then you've got the research field the research forest the research waterfall research ruins the research rocky area touch to check the clue so obviously we have the forest area which we know is cleavor and then of course there's other nobles that you fight um, which is obviously the Waterfall Noble, the Ruins Noble, the Rocky Area Noble, and then the Field Noble as well. Um, so yeah, I, I, I honestly came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting to see like this over the weekend and stuff, but uh, really, really cool to see. And again, shout out to Pokestarmy for um, translating it all, which again, she does all the time. So if you do have any kind of Japanese um, kind of pages or pieces of information that you really need translating, if you go to Pokestarmy's Twitter account, she's probably translated it. Um, but yeah, next up that I wanted to go over was this, which is another update from the site. There are silhouettes of the stars. So obviously this is Rowlet, Oshawott, Cyndaquil, um, Hisuian, Growlithe, and Cleavor. Um, but again, I feel like this might be hinting towards something. Like might be, maybe we're going to get the reveal of Hisuian Arcanine, Hisuian Typhlosion, Hisuian Samurai, and Hisuian Decidueye very, very soon. I just think it's very much um, interesting that they decided to like, they're just posting so much stuff about starters lately um and it's just like just show us them and just show i mean they're gonna get leaked this week anyway if you didn't know um basically the review copies are kind of out there now and apparently a few individuals i don't know some people are kind of saying that they've got it just for their two minutes of fame and don't actually have it but there are some people out there that generally do have a copy of this game and i would be surprised i would not be surprised if the games did get leaked this week which is very very early it's very unfortunate it's 18 days before the game comes out um, which again they could be uh, leaked this week at some point so yeah if you do want to stay away from leaks again I'm not going to be showing any leaks or anything in videos um, I'm sure other people are going to be if you do want to check them out I'm sure it's all going to be over Twitter as well if you want to check them out um, I will only be covering stuff that, um, that are like Pokemon tweet out and stuff like that and then um, kind of like hints and everything. I'm not going to be showing like the designs of Pokemon or anything like that at all. Uh, I also don't want to see it. I, the only thing I want to see are the, the, the Hisuian Star Revolutions and that's it. Because it generally really kind of twists my hand and forces my arm on who I'm picking. But um, yeah, we have people here saying they're just the first stages. Cleavor disagrees, yada, yada, yada. I'm way too excited for this game last night. I kept waking up each time I went back to sleep. Um, but yeah, just kind of people just not really any huge information about that. But again, just another little promotional thing for Legends Arceus. Uh, this is the next thing that I wanted to go over. So this was posted by Coleman and uh, he posted saying, Ku mentioned, which is obviously the Chinese Riddler, a very difficult level 85 Garchomp boss and then liked this reply. If it's true, this could be interesting. So this was a reply um, to the Chinese Riddler saying, I'm guessing Arceus will be level 100 when we face it. And then the Chinese Riddler actually um, liked the tweet. So we could be seeing a level 100 Arceus um fight which would be kind of crazy uh and i would love to see that uh we'll see how tough it is when it has to face my hisuian fire ghost typhlosion grass fighting decidui is ready to close combat uh arceus also arceus laughing on mount coronet so basically yeah that like we nothing's been like confirmed but of course it's been heavily heavily rumored that typhlosion is going to be fire ghost decidui is going to be grass fighting and i think samurai is going to be water dark or something like that again not confirmed we haven't seen images of that it's just basically what the prominent leakers in the community have basically been saying um so that's kind of all the legends arcus leaks and rumors and stuff this is just some more information that i wanted to go over well we've got one more leak to cover here from the chinese riddler who said this one's in the game how many how many regional forms do you think will show up in the game i could find no other reason of vulpix family being chosen that this line definitely benefit benefited from association with its ice variant branch so apparently alolan vulpix is going to be in the game um, 
So yeah, I don't know how true this is. Uh, it says, by the way, this is not the end of this hint. I paired it with that shiny ponytail one. They belong to the same system in the game. When you play Pokemon Legends Arceus, it will all click. Uh, and then this is kind of like all the regional forms that, that we kind of like have or whatever, I think. Anyway, all regional forms in this. Yeah, so all regional forms uh, that are going to be in the game are kind of in this um, post here. So obviously you've got the ponytail line there. You've got the Geodude line there um, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, again not being confirmed but we'll have to wait and see and then finishing things off i thought this was very interesting to go over uh, it was tweeted out by pldh and he says the japanese version of the sword and shield overview trailer came out at the end of october and then a final new trailer came out the week of launch teasing runerigus and mr rhyme so if you don't know uh, basically we got a new overview trailer which was six minutes long for pokemon legends arcus and a lot of people were kind of worried that that would be the last bit of information or the last kind of trailer that we would see for pokemon legends Arce arcus before the game is released in uh well at the end of this month which i don't think is the case at all and this kind of just backs up that case uh, whereas when we got the sword and shield overview trailer at the end of october we got a new, and obviously that came out in november uh, sword and shield did uh, we also got a new trailer the week of launch which obviously teased new pokemon i don't think this is the final news drop for pokemon legends arceus there's also the amazon special coming uh, which is the legends arceus kind of like kind of like amazon um anime special and then previews as well we still haven't had the previews for pokemon legends arceus and when previews drop they usually show us a bunch of new gameplay loads of new information there's going to be a ton of stuff to cover again a lot of people are hinting that we might be seeing something this wednesday again that's just kind of on the grapevine we don't know if that's true um but uh yeah i mean we definitely are going to get some new information soon before the games drop so don't worry um hopefully it's a big trailer or maybe i, I think it should be a pokemon presents where they show off pokemon sleep um, the the Shaman Dark Cry events for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and then they should also obviously just show like the Star Revolutions for Legends Arceus or something like that. Whether they do a Pokemon Presents, I highly doubt. It. I don't know, but I think it would make sense to do it. Either way, though, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. Uh, but that's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time